Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to take a quick minute to discuss the kerfluffle in the 3D printing world. So in front of me, I have a lawsuit that has been filed by Stratasys Incorporate, Incorporated, and the plaintiff is, well, better known as Bamboo Lab. So they there's two cases here, two colon 24, CV-644 and 645. They've been filed in Texas. And I'm just not going to read you the whole thing, but the background of the dispute, Stratasys mentions that they have over 2,600 patents involved in 3D printing. They specifically call out Bamboo Labs A1, A1 Mini, P1P, X1 Carbon, P1S, and the X1E 3D printers. And then they list a whole bunch of their patents. I think there's 10. I'm not going to cover them all, but the first one they list is patent number 9421713, and that is entitled Additive Manufacturing Method for Printing Three-Dimensional Parts with Purge Towers. So I know my, my Bamboo Lab 3D printers use purge towers. I don't have any multi-material equipped printers with printers that other printers from other manufacturers that use purge towers, but I bet they're out there. So this isn't just a Bamboo Labs thing. And then the next one is patent 9,592,660. That is entitled Heated Build Platform and System for Three-Dimensional Printing Method. Now I'm going to say that most FDM printers got the heated bed. Then we go into the other document or the other lawsuit, number 645, and again, more patents. 10,569,466. This one is entitled Tag, Tagged Build Material for Three-Dimensional Printing, i.e. the little NFC tags that they put on their filament. Now, I'm not pro Stratasys or pro Bamboo. It's important for you know companies, if they have intellectual property, they have to defend that or they can you know lose it or not be able to win if they haven't been uh, you know, aggressively pursuing IP violations. But I'd love to know your thoughts on this matter. So please, you know, drop your comments below. Is this a, you know, I'm not accusing anybody, of, but you've heard other, you know, there are companies that go out there and they just suck up patents and then they just look for, you know, people to sue because they own the patent. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but you got to wonder if, they're going after Bamboo. Is it because they're the popular kid on the block? Are they going to go after Prusa? Are they going to go after Creality? Are they going to go after every other, you know, 3D printing company that's out there? And I looked at some of their patents and that are related to 3D printing. They have patent number 5,503,785, process of support removal for fused deposition modeling. So, like, no kidding, they have a patent on your supports. So any company that, or slicer, I guess, that is using supports, they have a patent on it. They can go after anybody. So again, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are they, you know, are they protecting their intellectual property or is this an attack on the 3D printing community? So I just wanted to take a quick moment and make this video and see what you all think. So again, please drop your comments below. And if you find videos like this engaging or important, informative, and you'd like to see more, drop that in the comments as well. As always, if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the little notification bell so you can keep up with what we're doing. So take care, everyone.